My parents always um, made Christmas really special. Um, and of course, I still believe in Santa Claus. But as a child, I believed very heavily in Santa Claus. And I remember that feeling of getting up on Christmas morning and there'd be a new doll and a bed and clothes. That doll would have clothes, uh, beautiful clothes that um, my mom had made. It's it's just something I've always enjoyed and liked and never dreamed I'd have a second career making dolls. It, this clay, it's, it's warm, it's a little sticky, so it will stick real nice. In uh, 1992, I decided that I wanted to have a hand-sculpted Santa Claus. I had always been a big Christmas uh, fanatic, and I had never seen any Santas that I liked. Um, I spent about a year and a half researching, going to um, juried uh, handmade shows, looking for artists that did sculpt. And after about a year and a half, I finally took a lump of clay and sculpted the first face, which I thought looked like E.T. with a beard. Then in turn, I thought he was really good. So I decided I'd try again. Surely the second try would be better than the first. Um, and then I made a third one, and I just kept working. And I had friends that admired them and liked them, and Santa just became what I enjoyed doing. Many of them are object-driven. In other words, there's a chair or a trunk or a toy or a piece of fabric that I can imagine an image either sitting in or wearing. Uh, from there, then I decide, well, what's the emotion he's going to uh, show? Uh, is he an American Santa, jolly, or is he more Father Christmas and more sullen? Um, that kind of depends. That Once I make that decision, then I know where my face is going. And then from there, it's just take the clay and go to work and hopefully it turns out like I envisioned in my head. Sometimes not as good as my vision and other times surprisingly better than what I imagined. People, older people, find the life-size guy and they come up to him and they talk to him and they they're they have a look of awe on their face probably the same look they had as a child on Christmas morning I have seen that from you know middle-aged women to young women to children to older women people have written me notes about uh, finding me at the show and seeing the big Santa and what it was like to see him and thanked me for doing him and just written to me about experiencing or seeing my work and I think it gave them joy. The elves, the woodland elves, they're a real break. They're a nice break after your Christmas season when you need a break from Santa to um, pursue the elves a little more. I live in Berea and we have wonderful woodlands around here and several years ago I picked up acorns and acorns and um, we have lots of, since I'm in the shop a lot of my a lot of my work has changed based on what tourists tell me or tourists have to say or what I think maybe they're looking for too. So it's given me a chance to explore um, the elves, and I think that's what Berea reminds me of. So if someone wants to take a piece of Berea home, a little woodland elf with Berea acorns for a hat, is just the perfect thing. And uh, about the past three months, I've really been working pretty heavily on these and wanted to have a big, a large enough collection to make a nice display. Um, gives me a break from the mohair, 
Uh, they're fun, they are quirky. Um, your anatomy doesn't have to be quite as exact because they can have big hands and big feet and big noses and uh, lets you deal with personality a, a lot more. I, I, may, I think I'm more of an elf than, than any direct relation to Father Christmas. <laughs>